from the command center JW Solar USA. Guys, uh, we've been working on these batteries, uh, me and my buddy, and this is what we came up with. And each battery is a string. You have all these string. This I think is an 18 gauge wire. So the 18 gauge wire goes for one battery. You gotta keep the uh, the white cable out of it because that's for temperature sensor, temperature sensing. So we don't need that because it's gonna compromise the charging of the battery. Because anytime it feels that temperature, it's gonna um, slow down the charge right away. And you don't need any temperature compensation on lithiums because you want them to charge on constant voltage and constant current. So if the white wire is out and we are fine. So this is the deal. Thinking about setting the um, um, configuration on this, these batteries are all in 11s. I have them all in 11s. So Eric already uh, helped me out with the uh, soldering because he had a small wire and uh, the patients and all that stuff and uh, we Decided we we're um, discussing to have these batteries in 15s that will give us to a 48 volt, which is uh, 56 points uh, Points four approximately the batteries are 3.75 volt 5 amps So I can do any configuration I want Doing a 24 volt, I can just do four in series, 11 modules in series that gives us the uh, uh, 30 volt right away. So that's for 24 volt configuration. The only thing that sucks, the 12 volt system, we're going to be under um, 11 point something volt. And uh, it's going to be some kind of issue for some inverters. And I know I'm going to be having the BP sound like it's almost going to shut down with a yellow uh, indication. But we can still drag it all the way to 10. That, that means um, the, uh, we have the leverage instead of charging them all the way to the top. And we don't discharge them all the way to the bottom. So the battery is going to last a very long time for those of you guys that are concerned about this stuff. So... I'm um, trying to do the best thing here that uh, we're not going to be compromised or anything. We have the leverage. We can able to connect these badges. Each module here is going to be um, like this. It's a one. It's considered as a one. It's a module now. And uh, it's 11 batteries. Uh, individually, just like stringy now. You see now the positive negatives here. We can connect all the positives all together. And tie them, put it into a... Um, um, a terminal and connect it to a bus bar we can do that so this one's at a 3.75 5,000 milliamp so which is a 18.75 times if you do that 18.75 times whatever we're gonna string it for or times 11 that will give you some lot of wattage here uh, maybe around what 200 to something but it's a 50 amps this all in parallel is 50 amps okay we have this stock one of them one of them one of them so we can build um, a, a 24 12 24 36 48 volts try to come up with another idea what we're gonna do adding them on 15s that will give us a 56 point something volts 56 point four which is a 48 volt bank but we are not trying to use these batteries for uh, high discharge or for, for big loads. These are just for um, convenient or portable way we can able to run this stuff for uh, DIYer. My main idea having this as a one pack and have the other one as a one pack. I can grab this one just like a little case or whatever uh, for 12 volts on this one but it's going to be too much of a string have the sides here going to be have the terminal just like you're doing a jump pack and uh we can connect two of these in series just the top on the negative terminal here and the positive here that makes a 24 volt we can stack them together for a high long run for more amperage for 12 volts so that's the convenience i was going to do and using the top right here 
and cut it right here and put a meter and put in the USB charger and uh, put all some little gadgets here we wanted for portable thing. You know, maybe you can throw a little 12 volt inverter, which is um, my Duracell I have there or my Samlex. I can put it up here, you know, 400 watts on the Duracell, 300 watts on the Samlex, which is a 24 volt. Either or, I was gonna use. I want to utilize those inverters in a way that um, Eric is kind of really interested seeing all this, how everything works because I have. I want to utilize the uh, equipment I have at home which is sitting there I'm not gonna use but I can use this one take this guy and grab my Duracell 400 watt I, I'm, I'm good I can run a little fridge on that one and I can take this one two case of this and make it a 24 volt right away or two case parallel stacking them together connect positive positive negative to negative on the back where the stud is gonna be and we are good to go so that's how portable I want this system to be but we're still kind of playing we're still working on this get them all stringed up and uh, we're good to go we have six more of these um, modules and um, I don't know what you guys think uh, leave it in the description below and for those of you guys uh, who are curious well um, how am I gonna be coming up or I'm gonna pull this and this is the way all right there are many ways different ways so we can able to million ways you can do this thing we can go right away 48 volts 15 batteries 15 so now it's 11 add more and we are good to go well tell me what you think like and subscribe JW Solo USA Minnesota bye